huge fan. Forget about uh, Hollywood Nights, New Bomb, Bomb Turk. Saw it a thousand times. Wore out my VHS. Amazing. That's when I became a huge fan. Um, but then when I saw you on, uh, when you did that, um, what was it called? Uh, Assume the Position. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. That's when I realized you're also a genius. I mean, are you that it took, smart? <laughs> it took you that long. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I enjoyed doing, but actually both of them. Hollywood Nights was my first movie. In fact, I get stopped outside of, I'd say, Batman, of course, and uh, probably the TV series. I get stopped more for Hollywood Nights than anything else I've ever done. Uh, people, it's a cult film. Um, and what happened right. is that when it came out around 19, eh, 1980, uh, it did okay at the box office. It wasn't a huge hit. But what happened was it was one of the first movies in the rotation at HBO. And what happened is they would, you know, like back then they would show the movie like 15 times a day. So, uh, and, and it was one of those movies that fathers, I found out, watched with their sons. And they could laugh together. And what's happened since then, because it's now 40 years old, is that uh, two generations have grown up and their fathers and their grandfathers watch it with the kids. So that goes on. But to this day, I mean, great talent in that movie. It was my first film, Tony Danza's first film, Michelle Pfeiffer's first film, uh, Stuart Pankin, Fran Drescher. I mean, great talent is in that movie. Uh, so as far as I, as far as assume the position that was after I finished Arliss, I went to uh, the head of HBO and I said, I got this wild hair. I don't know what it is, but I'd like to do like a history class, but make it entertaining and do it in, in front of the real college audience. So we did it in front of NYU students, did two of them. And they were very, very well, it's probably the most well-received thing I've ever done. But then again, the HBO uh, hierarchy turned over about that time and uh, they didn't want much to do with anything that the previous a hierarchy, you know, had done for the most part. And I was, uh, that was me. <laughs> Did you do that? Could you do that as a live, like a tour? I mean, couldn't you do something I like that? I did those shows live uh, in front of real students. I did tour with a version of it later, at, uh, later after the two shows. Uh, I did tour with it later. And we had a third one ready to go, but everything fell apart. Mm, that's a shame. I heard Thank your you. name come up the other day on the radio too. I was listening to uh, Craig Carton. Of course, and he, and he was coming up with something that was wrong, and he comes back after commercial and says, uh, "Robert Wold called and corrected me." <laughs> so oh, that was about the Mona Lisa, I think. Yes, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>